In today's Brevo Automation tutorial, we are going to go over everything needed to know about automations in Brevo. Now, by actually implementing automations onto your email marketing strategies, you can actually save quite a lot of time over the long run. So make sure to actually implement this. To get started, we will have to create ourselves a Brevo account. As you can see, Brevo does have over 500,000 customers like Louis Vuitton, Michelin, eBay and so on. Now, if you guys do want to support me for completely free, you can actually use my affiliate link down below to sign up for Brevo. Either way, let's now actually sign up. Once you've signed up, this is how the dashboard is going to look like. For now, just head over to the automation settings right here on the left. And then we are going to have logs automations email templates as well as let's actually head back to this we are also going to have the overall settings right here now to get started i'm just going to open up automations and then i'm going to create an automation by using the button right here on the top right now one thing which i actually like about brevo is that you can actually also simply just start off with one of their great templates as you can see they do have quite a lot of different templates available depending on your own needs so if you for example do need a template for increasing your traffic you are going to actually have a template uh, as for marketing activity which is going to look like this you are also going to see a website event template available and you can then actually also see a transactional activity template as well as a page visit template and this page visit template for example is just going to send an email to people who have visited one of your sites based on their interest and basically this is super useful to actually target the different kind of of needs of your potential customers. Now, in my case, I'm just actually going to start from scratch to give you guys a better overview on how this is going to work. So in my case, I'm just going to name this example workflow one. Now, one thing which I do want to mention is that usually uh, in email marketing terms, automations are also called workflows or marketing automations or just normal automations or sequences. Either way, it's all just the same meaning, uh, automations equal workflows, okay? Now you can then actually also set a description and you can actually select if you do want to allow your contacts to enter the automation more than once. In some use cases, this does make sense. However, as for me, I'm just going to leave this as unticked. So I'm now going to create the automation and this is now actually going to redirect us onto the Bravo workflow builder. Now. To get started, we will have to actually create an entry point. To get started, we will have to actually add an entry point onto our workflow. So this is also just kind of a trigger and this is just going to start this exact workflow. And so in this case, let's for example say that we are going to select a contact submits a form and then we can either just select any form right here. So then this is going to be triggered whenever any form is going to be submitted or you can actually also select a different kind of forms on their own. In my case, I'm just going to move forward with this. We can then of course also add other entry points onto this. So if we for example do want to create an entry point as for an anniversary, a contract attributes condition, contact is added onto list and so on we can also do that okay now this is really important to understand an entry point is just going to start your whole automation and then once you actually started your automation we will have to get started by actually adding steps onto our workflow now as you can see with Bravo, you are truly going to get a lot of different options these are going to be divided into actions as well as into conditions these conditions are kind of just going to split your email workflow or they are actually going to put in delays but more on that in just a second let's for example first of all get started with the actions let's for example say that right away we do want to send out an email and then we can select an email template or we can let me actually open up this once again or we can actually create a new email template now in my case i'm just going to actually create a new email template right here and this is then going to be opened up so i'm just going to name this email marketing template one then we can actually um, put in a subject line. So I'm just going to put in, hey, thank you for da 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 da. And actually also, you can just also add personalization onto this. So basically you can insert that last name, first name, SMS, and so on onto the subject lines and onto the email. 
this just is a great way of actually improving your overall engagement score. But I'm just going to quit this right now. Let's actually now continue with the other steps right here. So in this case, let me head back to automations and then we will have to open up our example workflow. So let's now actually continue by actually sending out an email. And now I'm just going to use one of the default templates right here. So I'm just going to add it right now. And then this email is going to be sent out, which I've just selected. Obviously you would have to create a custom email. And then after that, I would most of the time uh, would recommend you to actually add a condition and add a delay condition onto this. And in this case, we are just going to add a delay for one day, let's say. So generally speaking, we don't want to spam our email contacts because obviously this will just result in getting a lot of unsubscribes, which which isn't beneficial. So rather make sure to always implement delays onto this uh, whenever you want to. So in this case, we can then actually also perform an other action. Like for example, we can send a WhatsApp app message. This is also something which I really like about Brevo because you can actually seamlessly integrate WhatsApp onto Brevo. You can also integrate this onto the workflow. So you can then actually automatically send this exact contact a message on WhatsApp, which is super powerful. Additionally, you can actually also start another workflow go to another step or you can actually also perform a crm action so let's for example do this let's actually say that whenever we are going to send out that exact email from beforehand we are going to create a deal and then we can actually add a prefix onto this so i'm just going to add the prefix email and then we can select the pipeline the stage so in this case i'm just going to say that this is now in the qualifying stage as we have already sent out an email and then i'm also going to create a to-do task uh, which is then going Going to be assigned to the contact owner immediately or in this case we can actually also say that this to do task should be uh, one days later created um, in this case or we can actually also add a duration if we do want to uh, i will just select immediately right here and then i'm just going to add this all right great and now we've actually implemented the crm feature onto this workflow now we can actually also set up conditions so for example we can create an a b split uh, basically test which we are where we can actually find out which kind of campaign is going to convert better so we can actually do this and as you can see right here this is going to be then split in two halves to 50 50 split and then this is actually going to give you guys separate results for both options we can actually also put in if else conditions so for example we can say that if an email got opened then we are going to continue if not we are going to send out the same exact email again for example and if yes we can then continue by sending out an other email now that's basically it as for automations on Brevo. Now I didn't want to overcomplicate it, but as always, if you guys do have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments down below. And also, if you guys do want to sign up to Brevo, make sure to use my link if you do want to support me for completely free.